Shalom. All praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, which is translated in the Babylonian tongue, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Grace and peace to the saints scattered across the four corners of the earth. I just want to talk about this trending topic about uh, this wicked one who has the spirit of Cain, Ham, Esau, Nimrod. Caesar, we're gonna get into these clips and then uh, get in depth with some scriptures and the information. Donald Trump says he's selling Bibles for $59.99. The former president released a video on Truth Social Tuesday urging his supporters to buy the quote, God bless the USA Bible. This Bible is the King James Version and also includes our founding father documents, yes, the Constitution. The Bible is Trump's latest commercial venture as he runs for his return to the White House. Last month, he debuted Trump branded shoes at SneakerCon for $399. These Efforts all come as Trump faces a serious money crunch. His legal bills are growing as he fights four criminal indictments along with a series of civil charges. Donald Trump. Okay, the next one. I'm proud to be partnering with my very good friend Lee Greenwood in connection with promoting the God Bless the USA Bible. The Bible certainly is one of if not, I mean, it is the book. I get sent Bibles by a lot of people. Where yes. are all those Bibles anyhow lot. now? <laughs> well, actually, we, we keep them in a certain place, a very, very nice place. What's my first favorite book? The Bible! As we see the quote, Make America Great Again in the Spirit, we see Make Mystery Babylon the Great Again. The Bible means a lot to me, but I don't want to get into specifics. Very You're an Old helpful. Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal. Proverbs, the chapter, never bend to envy. I've had that thing all of my life where your people are bending to envy. Two Corinthians, right? Two Corinthians, 317. That's the whole ball game. He may not know the Bible quite as well as the rest of us, but that guy's a real leader. And he's going to do a job. And I appreciated that statement. <laughs> As the Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers, and I will be your peacemaker. I'm proud. <laughs> peacemaker. Let's get into it. And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences shall stand up. And... This is the scripture he stated. Now, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which is translated Jesus Christ in the Babylonian tongue, is that Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit, and where the Rakakwadash of Yahweh Shai is, there is liberty. And we know, according to scripture, know you not that you are the temple of Yahweh. And that the Rakakwadash of Yahweh dwells in you. If any man defile the temple of Yahweh, him shall Yahweh destroy. For the temple of Yahweh is holy. Which temple you are? Yahweh, the Rakakwadash, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is uh, Paleo Hebrew. The names for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. But we know the serpent is cunning in his tongue he speaks about peace yet he claims himself the father of the mark of the beast that he came up with the abomination of desolation these three names and the other ones across the other nations are still the same things it's still under the sorcery banner from the merchants of the earth and along in this where people who are on left wing or right wing they are of the same eagle as you see in the back of your dollar so he states the one of the greatest achievements of mankind is to mix the iron and the clay 
And whereas you saw iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. Hence, this is what he's the father of. Merging technology into the temple of men. With the mark of the beast in the hand. And the mark of the beast in the forehead. As you see from, from that site. With the foundation, the building blocks, the do not access, the D to the N to the A. You can read from that site. And also, you see from the .gov. Let me see if I can write. That, what was that? Yeah, right here. That's what the forehead was all about. Taking your do not access, your D to the N to the A, and putting it in the machine. Because, as we're going to state, the father, the serpent, of the abomination of desolation spoken about in Daniel. This was the plague. Because you have kept the word of my patience, I also will keep you from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly, hold fast, which you have, that no man take your crown. So that plague was the removal of your crown. Because the world is an enmity with the Most High and us, the saints of the Most High, are at enmity with the world. So those who refused the mark of the beast in the forehead and hand received heavy persecution, tribulation, still to this day, you know, our lives are never the same. We don't see the world the same. We don't uh, participate in it as we used to because uh, we know Babylon is falling. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And, but Noah found grace in the eyes of Yahawashai. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations. And Noah walked with Yahweh, which we know he was perfect in his 10565, his do not access, his D to the N to the A. And this man is also signed the, uh, as we know in Revelation 12, he signed the Operation War Seed, the son of perdition who goes into destruction. And the proof is there. Oh, let's go back just so the people can see. The tech. They ain't hiding it no more. Well, they never did. You just have to seek and you shall find. Those who have the eyes to see shall see. Those who have the ears to hear shall hear what the Holy Spirit says. And the interpretation of these things straight out. You see these names. Search it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Right. That's one. 
could do the research on YouTube, Google, on it, on the web. <laughs> Hence, where they say web. <clears throat> you know, just uh, you can see that's in this spiritual warfare. It that that uh syringe and the liquid in it is clear. You can't see it just like you can't see the spiritual realm. That does not mean that it's not there. Okay. Right there. Hmm. That's what's in it. Hmm. All synthetic. And this is the big one right here. One, two. Hmm. I was supposed to write, I was supposed to press search. Huh? And we know what this one does. You can't see the do not access. It is there. It is the program. It is the system, the base and building blocks that you're not supposed to touch. That Yahweh Shai healed us and cleansed it. Even to this day, is there a cleansing and I do not access. But once man touches it, what Yah calls sanctified and must be perfect and undefiled, there's no turning back from that. So that's things that we could just see on it. And we know that uh let's 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 get into it with this man. But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was some great one. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in you. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in you. For your merchants were the great men of the earth. For by your sorceries were all nations deceived. And it came to pass as we went to prayer. A certain damsel possessed with a spirit of Divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. And you see this man selling, selling, um, Bible sneakers, but you know, it's all just a stage, the world is a stage, uh, all distraction. And we're gonna get these scriptures. About what sorcery is. I'm going to read it. And the beast was taken. And with him the false prophet. That brought miracles before him. With which he deceived. Them that had received. The mark of the beast. And them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive. Into a lake of fire. Burning with brimstone. And he wants to make Mystery Babylon great again. But this is the punishment and judgment that will happen. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascends up forever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receives the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh and the faith of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Let it be so. And these are just verses 
to show what, what is taking place and in terms of yes we gotta get into that sorcery the root word must reveal all things as as we see right here right here as we seen in which verse was that right divination sooth sayings or sorcery witchcraft right remedies being afraid of um I would say what was not real which was the king of all the plagues which was the least of them all but yet the greatest in deception that six plus billion people took um not even accounting those who took the mark of the beast in the forehead too so these are all the things that's taking place and I feel that this general uh is going through all of this because he is going into perdition, destruction, and if the world continues until November, he will be the general of this corporate kingdom, nation, again, and it will be fallen and destroyed. And that's what's going to take place. All of this is just foolishness nonsense so, because he will be back in that position if the world goes into November so Shalom Saints